Good morning, YouTube. How you doing? This is Dave here on what is looking to be a absolutely gorgeous Saturday in the uh, low 70s and sunny. Um, unfortunately, was not able to make it to the uh, Commodores and Coffee um, down in National Harbor. Uh, a bunch of guys from the uh, couple different forums are going down there uh, off of Facebook. And um, I just, uh, with uh, work and uh, traveling with work and the fact that uh, my wife's uh, Acadia, once again, warped the rotors on the front, uh, I got a little bit of work to do <laughs> today. So what I'm going to end up doing kind of as a start is, um, and here you go, here, here she is, the... Uh, I replaced these back in June, I'm sorry, October, October of last year, and, and this thing is warped like a son of a gun, um, because we're getting some really bad vibration in the front, um, especially when you brake. That one doesn't feel as bad, but you can feel a lot of pitting on it, and this guy is definitely well worn so I'm not 100% sure what the heck happened I'm gonna replace these again today so that's what the part of today's update will be <clears throat> I don't think I'm gonna do anything on the back because it I also replaced these see these don't look near just as bad like, you know it's kind of funny because they said we had the dealership take a quick look at it just because we wanted to uh, confirm our suspicion and they said oh that they you know uh, brakes will have to be the rotors will need to be cut and warped and all that stuff. So it's cheap enough. They, they're giving me some asinine price, like um, I think it was four eight hundred dollars or something like that to do the uh, do the brakes. Hell no. I, I've done these brakes for like three hundred dollars. Everything done, all in new brakes, rotors, all that stuff. I'm just replacing the fronts because I did everything back in October, and the vibration is coming definitely from the front. So before I go and bother trying to do the struts or anything like that, I'm going to do the brakes, see if the heavy vibration goes away, and then um, if it doesn't, then I'll spend another couple hundred bucks on struts. So um, stay tuned. Let's get to it. Okay, so we are on our way. We're going to head down to probably go to AutoZone to pick up the, uh, pick up the brakes and rows. I'm also going to talk to them about the you know the pads and rotors i bought them from october and see if they'll do anything to warranty it um i'm a little upset about that that they got that warped that quickly and, you know considering that i bought fairly decent ones but um it's not too bad it's a little over 100 bucks to uh kind of get everything back in i'll be able to handle that in, in less than uh, a couple hours knock it out but i'll walk you guys through um what it takes to do that in case you have a traverse or an acadia for pretty much anything i forget it's like ours is a 2012 but um god thinking i forget when the the uh, line starts but it was before that through uh potentially could be the same thing for what we have uh you know the newest ones in 2017 2018 but a uh, very popular brand uh vehicle you know had some longevity so the you know the tips that i give you on this will be you know that uh, it's extremely easy to do the brakes. So I've got a nice little trick that I like to do. And I'm just going to bang out uh, one side at a time. And, uh, you know, put the fresh brakes on. Put the wheel back on. Also, I'll jack it up. Um, hold it in place. We'll, we'll put the uh, jack stands underneath it. And um, we'll knock out the brakes real quick just to get it uh, get it uh, done as fast as possible. And uh, move on to more uh, exciting things. So... Um, stick with me and um, appreciate you guys watching. All right, guys, how you doing? Um, back here, actually, very cool. AutoZone actually warrantied everything that I bought from them. Uh, I got the brakes in October of last year, and they gave me a new set. I, I paid for it, but once I bring these back, they'll refund me the money. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, looks like that two year, they didn't even question whether or not it was hard stopped or anything. They just did exactly. You said warranty replacement, boom, no problem. Bring it back, not an issue. So, awesome deal. Thank you, AutoZone. You lived up to your word. So, uh, what we got here, and I don't see it under there, but like what we're gonna do is pop the cap off of the um, the cover here, and uh, that allows us to get to the lug nuts. I'm gonna loosen the lugs first, uh, and then I'll get the car up off the ground. And we're just gonna do uh, one side at a time. So. Um, what we'll do is, uh, let me grab a, I got my, uh, 
tool cart over here. It's just my little cart. Gonna get in here and we're going to just very easily try not to screw up your paint here on your wheels. But this baby's really dirty. And you can see six lug uh, axles here. So uh, fairly straightforward. What I'm gonna do, let me. Um, okay, so I busted the uh, rest of the lugs here loose. I got one left uh, here. You can see it's just this guy here. Um, I'm using a seventh eighths inch socket. May not be the exact right one. Probably closer to metric, but this is getting the job done. Ugh. There we go. Incredible Hulk that thing loose. Now I got. Let's check this guy should be loose too. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is now get the, um, the car up off the ground. I like to lift it right on the body mount. Makes it a little easier to, to do. And really, we're gonna do one side at a time. Once we get this thing up, I'll grab a floor jack. Uh, grab it, yeah, grab a um, jack stand. But see, and I'm uh, off screen here. Sorry about that. Stepped away, I'm just gonna get it right here. So I just I just dropped this down on the uh, okay. So I have it just on the body mount, holding it up, and uh, I got my seventh eighth inch socket, and I got my uh, trusty Dewalt in, impact gun, and uh, it's great for. Getting these Jerry Larry's on and off real quick. There you go. Boom. Lugs. Left them there. Wheel off. Boom. The, uh, the dealership told me that uh, everything, that the brakes are warped. Now, I bought AutoZone, and you can see these things are scored pretty badly. And that's, you know, that's that's kind of disappointing to me because of how much, you know, I only replaced them a few months back. But, that's the case, that's the case. So what I want to do is I'm going to get in here. We're going to check to see what we got here. We got this guy holding the caliper on. So this guy's actually holding the caliper on. This guy's holding the bracket on. It's a good size. So I'm going to have to take these guys here. That'll get this off. And I want to hold this out of the way. So I will probably grab a, um, a bungee cord or something along those lines to hold it up. Um, let me bring you in here so you can see what, what's, what's doing. Uh, I, this is really very straightforward. So um, you don't need to take this off. Um, well, so, so part of the problem that's, that's happening here is that because I'm changing the pads also, uh, and I gotta, change, I gotta change the pads and the rotor, it's not like uh, I, I gotta leave. I can leave this on. Normally, you could just take this piece off. It's just these two bolts here and down here. We'll, we'll make it come right off, and then you can just pull, put new pads in, and boom, done. Apparently, these guys are warped, so I'm getting a warranty replacement from the folks at uh, AutoZone. So, like I mentioned, so what I'll have to do is I'm gonna pull um, this guy off. I'm trying to remember whether or not I need to do both of those coming to think of it. I'll probably what I'm going to do is pull the, ca the calipers off first, and then I'll pull this bracket off to get the rotors off since it's clear. But um, let me go grab the proper tools. I believe it's like a number 10 and like a number 17 or something like that metric, metric uh, 17 millimeter and 10 millimeter. But I'll confirm that once I get back. Stay tuned. All right, so so I was way off. <laughs> it's actually a 13 millimeter and a 21 millimeter here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my little breaker bar here to kind of get everything loosened up on the calipers just kind of get that off first uh, because I'll have all brand new stuff to work with on the uh, um, so remember since on the back side what you're going to want to do is it's this way so it's counterintuitive because you're working away from it but boom there we go one and kind of get this bit of work. Yep, two boom off very simple and this is kind of cheating because I had already done this in October so it makes it a lot easier now you'll see I have my uh, um, bungee cord down here 
as well. I use this little guy uh, to. There we go. Here's your two bolts for that. These guys right here. I'm gonna keep that with everything else. And then this should come off. Boom! Look at that. Simple. <laughs> Very straightforward. So what I'm gonna do now, and I want to get this, and I'm not 100% sure. I still don't need to change this strut. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, get this guy kind of hooked in here and you'll, you'll feel it uh, very loose. I don't want it to hang from the uh, cable, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this guy, so we have this kind of hanging like this, and then what I'm gonna do is bring this through the uh, spring, back this way, and then I'm just gonna do very simply, grab it, loop it around it like that, make sure that it's kind of over one of these pieces, Boom, out of the way, real simple. You know, my gloves are dirty here, so I apologize. But all I did was I hooked the bungee cord around the two holes for the, to actually hold everything in place, loop it around here, around the spring pocket, around the, I'm sorry, the, the coil, and um, it holds it in place for you. So now you have uh, easy access in here, get the pads out, which is what I'll do now. Let's uh, loosen this guy up here, sorry. Usually I need both my hands to do this, so this is not helping things, but, uh, Let's uh, break these guys loose out of here. Um, actually, you know what I'll do? Let me let me break this off, and then the whole thing will come out, and it'll actually be very easy to take off. So let's get this guy back over here, and then you're gonna get to see me struggle a little bit with the. Um, see, look at how dirty, dirty everything is here. But uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just get that in here and pop this out. Boom. See, sad part is, is these. I mean, these don't look terrible, but shame on me. I didn't really go with like a premium pad, so this is kind of this is what I'm going to be dealing with here. So let me, uh, man, these these things really look chewed up for for being so brand new. But I'm gonna, I got to take these all back to uh, AutoZone, so I'm gonna bring make sure that all that comes back. And these these are I'm putting the, uh, and you can see that there's the the strip to for the noise, the the um, low pad indicator. I got like. You can see all, all the pad uh, I still have left on these things. It's a real sin. I gotta do this, but now it's out of the way. So what I can do is get in here with the uh, wrench, and I cheat a little because you know I gotta loose. I gotta get this thing tightened. Uh, sorry, loosened from this direction. So what I'm gonna do is come in low and uh, tighten this extra wrench up on it because it gives me extra leverage. So see now, boom, I'm loose. And then you can't really see what I'm doing, but what, I, what I'm actually doing is putting this here, like this, to get the extra leverage, uh, and I can uh, loosen these bolts very easily. But uh, let me uh, get this second one in. Let's adjust this like this so I can get it down here easy enough. It's kind of funky what I'm doing here, but it gives me some extra space so that I can loosen this bad boy without really jamming my hands against anything. There we go. And this is an ugly angle here, so you can't really see what I'm doing. I apologize for that. But, uh... I mean, once you get the lug nuts off, that's really all there is to it. And it's pretty... And then, you know, this guy right here is a little Torx bit, and I'll, I'll grab that and show you which one that is. But it's pretty darn easy. This is when having an air ratchet or a electric ratchet is nice. And you can see all the uh, thread locker <laughs> that I originally put on this because that's the last thing I feel like I have to deal with is having these babies back out when, uh, yeah, look at the honking size of that, and that guy right there. So let me uh, loosen the rest of this up. But, I like doing this stuff in the driveway when it's a nice day like this. Okay. Boom. There we go. Okay, so brackets off. And um, I get new pieces. These guys are brand new. I get brand new ones of these with the brake pads. So um, what we'll do is, I did not bring the Torx bit out, so let me stop you. I'll stop you real quick so I can show you how to get this guy 
off of the off the car but uh there you go so here's what we're dealing with nothing fancy here just to clean it up a little got both those bolts off now you have the rotor exposed here what you're going to want to do is put a torx bit and I'll, and I'll figure out exactly which one that is shortly i don't remember offhand rotor comes off new parts go on it's really that simple all right so we're back um i have a t27 it may be a t30 that you use but the t27 worked fine for this this should not be very tight this this uh bolt on the uh holding the rotor in place um, so, very, very simple. It comes out very easily. Boom. Off. Done. There it is. Let's uh, just, uh, pop that in. And, uh, there we go. So, rotor's off. Eyeballing it up. I can't, whoa. Wow. Uh, Using my calibrated eyeball here, it looks like it's really warped. <laughs> okay, so may not have been a good idea to use the budget rotors, but that's what I'm replacing it with for right now because um, that's what I get for free. You can see, like, what is all this shit on here? This is actually, I put NCs on it because then you see how easy it came right off? No problem, just boop. Popped it right off of there, no problem. I put, put the NCs on there, it makes it very easy for you to take things apart. those pads rotor I'm gonna replace my gloves and we are going to start reassembly all right let's just give you a quick zoom in here you go there's the anti C's on the on the uh, um, spindle itself on the hub and um, that's really all there is to it guys so now it's time to uh, start reassembly okay guys we are back we're ready for reassembly uh, I just opened the first box uh, for the rotors and uh, you know they seal it really nice they vacuum seal it one thing I do recommend which I do on every brake job that I do sorry the glare is like really bad but you know you can see here I'm gonna tear it open and I always like to spray it down uh, with some cleaner it's a deep it's uh, like a just before you install or just before you do body work type of thing I like to let me just uh, put this on my lap here and I get this guy right here Something like this prep all. I use this, and uh, I use this just to wipe the wipe the brakes down because there's usually some uh, grease or oil on it that they do to keep preserve it from uh, from uh, rusting when it's uh, sitting in a box for a long period of time. Um, I would not necessarily recommend using these uh, uh, red rags because they leave lint, but that's what I got at my disposal. These things are actually very clean, as a matter of fact, so I may not even need to do this to the other side, but just doing a little cleaning on the surfaces that we're mounting to. And this is like, this is actually like really clean. So I think what the, these guys do, contrary to what some of the other folks do, is I don't think these guys grease the uh, rotors because these things are dry as a bone. So that's actually, you, do, you, you can see a little bit of stuff on there, so I'm just going to... Uh, Continue with what I was doing just to make sure that the services are nice and clean. Okay. Ready to go. So hopefully, because I was getting a very bad vibration uh, in the front, you know, front end on this, and I'm hoping that it was just attributed to the uh, the rotors. But um, so what we're going to do, and how and how quote unquote warped they were because they wanted to charging an arm and leg so what we're gonna do we know that uh, the, the hole to screw in the one um, bolt is right here so what you're gonna want to do is align that when you're installing and bingo bango it's lined up now so you're gonna grab your little um, rotor retaining screw that's what I'm calling it that's what I'm sticking to and there you go it's uh, pretty pretty easy guys I mean hold it in place so you can get it lined up and uh, this will not come off and to be honest with you even if it did it's not the end of the world <laughs> because your wheels are holding it off so this is really an assembly step so don't don't go nuts and uh, torque this thing down like you're in an arm wrestling contest this thing's about is uh... okay so Boom, rotor on. Alrighty, so here we go. 
come with the um, AutoZone, comes with the Doralast uh, pads here. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, take this, and it looks like it looks like actually these clips were not given to me in the box. So uh, yeah, yay for me. Good thing I held on to them. Tisk tisks. Now see, I thought that they gave you these in the box, so I'm glad I held on to these. So don't throw these out right away. You may need them. <laughs> so knowing that, let me uh, just give these guys a little quick cleaning too. Guy is good. <laughs> so grab this guy. Clean this. Wipe this one down just a little bit. Make sure the back is nice and clean where I sprayed. There we go. Okay, good enough. So you may not even need to bother taking these off. So take that to take it for what it's worth. Oh, got a import driving around here. I was uh, looking at some posts uh, from the uh, Cars and Coffee down there in National Harbor. It looks like it was a pretty awesome event. <laughs> so, uh, bummer, but that's what happens. You got you got you, you know families. Uh, families got to be your top priority, and I got to make sure that my wife's car is, is safe. So that's what the, that's what I'm doing for today. So I you want I want to put the um, I want to put the non um, sorry got that the import there making a, a ton of. Uh, fart noises there but uh, so I want to load the pads like this and the reason why I want to do it this way is because the wear indicator is going to go on the inside surface there I'm not sure if that's if it matters which side but that's that's the side I'm putting it on so just load them in and guys this is this is really really simple so there you go boom loaded now all I'm going to do is uh, let me just rest this down for a second because what I want to do and um, okay so I got it here I just used some thread locker red on the original bolts that, that we took off. Me, uh, that you don't have to go nuts. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way on this. So just a little bit of this guy here. I like to push a little bit onto the surface. Let's uh, put that guy there. Same thing with this guy. Just a little goes a long way here. Uh, and I like the, this one because it's like a twist out. So you don't have to worry about it leaking all over the place. It holds up very nicely. So take that guy. I'm going to hold on to this one. And what we're going to do is... Just load this in, line it up at the top here, feed the bolt through to get her started, and uh, boom. I got a thread here. Okay, there we go, that one started. Grab this guy, same deal on this side. Let's uh, line her up. Well, that lined up real nice and uh, reverse of what you did before so now you get the nice boring part here as if everything wasn't boring on it <laughs> no. all right okay it's snug right now and I'm gonna bring this one in make sure it's all lined up pretty So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to really tighten this guy up now. So, what I like to do is the inverse of what I did before. So, I like a one-inch wrench on the half-inch drive. So, I'm going to angle this so I can get this slipped over it. So, it, it slipped over it like this so I can push down on it. So, so you see how I have it here? So, if the bolt's here, I'm pushing down this way on it. Um, load it in. Get it so I got a good uh, angle here. And then we just give it a good push like that. Try it again. And uh, get your weight on it. There we go. That's nice and tight. This guy, same deal. Give it a little extra uh, bump. And we're doing that for leverage purposes so that we can get, uh, you know, either that or you get yourself a breaker bar. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'm also, I'd recommend... 
you know, if you want to get the torque value for this, but with Loctite and uh, Loctite and making sure they're good and tight, I've never had an issue doing it. Loctite, you know, and doing it with this, I've never once had an issue doing it this way. So, take that with a grain of salt. I'm telling you, consult the torque values and all that good jazz, but no problem. So now, see, we're here, ready to go. Now it's just a matter of putting the um, the uh, um, caliper back on. Now let's see, because these were fairly already loaded pads, I may not have to do anything fancy with this, or I may have to get a, a wrench and push this down. But let's take a look and see. I'm sorry, get a a, a, a clamp. A C clamp and uh, yep see so I'm gonna need a C clamp so that's a good lesson learned I, I didn't have all my tools shame on shame on me so what I'm gonna need to go and do is get myself a C clamp and uh, we have to adjust this so what I'm gonna do is hang her back up for now slide this back through put her back on here for just a second and I'll be right back I'm gonna go get the C clamp okay so I'm sorry for the music uh, next door neighbors uh, blasting it there you go you can hear it so yeah, it's always a party. So what, what I like to do, let me show you here. That is a little ridiculous, but um, you can you'll probably you probably hear that bass. You get a C clamp. Doesn't have to be huge. And what you do is you just kind of get it so that it can fit in here, and then screw down into the piston, and then you tighten this C clamp up. And what it'll do is it'll push the piston in, and it'll move some of the brake fluid back up into the um, into the uh, master cylinder. Um, you know, don't go nuts, just loosen it enough so that you can clear your new brake pads. Um, so I'll show you what, I, what I'm what i doing here. I'll do it on both sides and you can see. So I'm going to put you back over here. And again, I apologize for the music. Next door neighbors, uh, yeah. <laughs> Next door neighbors like to uh, blast it every once in a while. So, yeah, you got to be, uh, you got to be uh, a good neighbor, right? You got to be patient. Whether or not they uh, decide that's okay to blast that stuff. I will uh, be tolerant of it. So. All right, so you really do not have to turn this thing that far. So this guy is in, and now you can probably hear that thing like that. There we go. That's that's more than enough. And then what we'll do is uh, loosen it and. Uh, go over to the other side and uh, fit it on there and you can see it's really really easy to do this to be honest with you and I have a different clamp there I could use but this applies more pressure so it doesn't tear up the tear up the cylinder in there just looking yeah there's no issue with this one solid tan <laughs> all right and you'll start to see the other side probably come out a little bit don't freak out <laughs> you're really not moving a ton of fluid so here we go that's it this is probably more than enough so here we go coming back in here and you can see really not I didn't push it in that much but it's enough now I can clear uh, around the caliper I can clear the caliper around the uh, rotors. I'm sorry, around the um, rotor and pad assembly. I apologize, that music is really distracting me. <laughs> yeah. But it's good, it's nice background music. And since I'm not getting monetized anyway by YouTube, I'm, I don't have to worry about getting demonetized. So, it's a good time to say like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button over there, I'd appreciate it. All right. Let's get this bungee off of here. Now what we'll do, it's really all it is, is boom. Push the pad, make sure the pads are in there, and there you go. She's back over it, no big deal. Now now that it's fairly snug, what I'm gonna do is take the uh, bolts to uh, mount this again. 
a little bit of thread locker on it. Make sure that um, it's uh, um, held in place really well. We'll line it up through here. Make sure that we're in place on the... Uh, There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Tightened. There it goes again. Sounds like we're under attack. So loud. It's great too because my kids are in uh, trying to take a nap. So real solid. That should work out real well for everybody involved. <sighs> Go. Nice about these guys, man. I'm gonna get a nice suntan out here. It's mid, mid uh, seven, getting two awesome weekends in a row, man. Can't uh, can't beat that. So, and has anybody seen um, Avengers: uh, Infinity War yet? Because I did last night. And um, let me just tell you, it uh, was one hell of a movie. That's nice and tight. I don't have to go nuts on that. And I got the thread lock on there. And then we'll tighten the bottom up. Again, this is a number 13, and the big guy was number 21. Both metric. Okay. Oh boy, here we go again with that music. All right. And there we go. Just do another little quick tightening. And that baby's tight. All right. Done. That's literally it. And so what we'll do is let's get the let's get the tire back in here. Let's get these tools out of the way. Let me get my uh, piece over there. And that's really it, guys. It's a rinse and repeat for the other side. So let me uh, let me get this wheel back in here. Get her lined up. I'm gonna give this gal a bath. Let's uh, roll her in there. Woo! Let's get out in the sun. All right. So just. Uh, Muscler into place here. There we go. Boom. Lined up. Woo! Alright, I got my lugs there, so let's just get a couple of these in place to. Uh... There we go. And I just do that to kind of get everything slowly. Uh cinch down and then once I get it down reasonably tight and there we go again it's like it's a it's it's a freaking comedy hour here Ugh. man oh man all right and my knees probably blocking it so it's uh, very nice and easy. star pattern crisscross and uh, there you go down there Let's get, well, what I'll do is I'll get the uh, jack stand out of there, and this side is done. So then I'm going to move over to the other side. So, like I said, rinse and repeat. I'm not going to bore you with it. Um, on to the rest of the video, guys. Take care. Oh, we got more music. All right, good deal. Let's take her for a ride. I'm going to go return the other brakes, get my money back. Hopefully this fixed a majority of the vibration. Uh, let's see. Still have some... Uh, some interesting uh, noises that come out of this thing, and I think it still has to do with the shocks, but uh, I can't do much with that. You know what, let's go, Where? which way am I going here? You know what, let's, I'll take, I'll take Route 130, but I'll go, I'll go the back way. So far, so good. The shaking of the uh, steering wheel is gone, which is, it is a good thing. Um, holy moly, it is warm up in this joint. I'm gonna definitely have to get some air going. Um, let's uh, stop right here. Good pedal feel, very good pedal feel. Let's uh, adjust this here. Get some uh, get some air conditioning going because it is uh, really, really warm uh, in here. Glasses are fogging up. So far, so good. Apologize if you're a little shaky. I don't have the camera set up on the. Uh, um, window mount but uh, while I got you here um, the 
tomorrow. It's not going to be as warm a day, but uh, it'll be a good day to take the uh, SS to ACO. They have, it looks like a uh, tested tune starts at noon. I may end up having to pay a lot of money to do that. Um, not thrilled about that, but I want to get that thing there uh, so I can get some tuning done on it. One, um, get some more uh, information for uh, Shane. He needs just um, just to be sure everything's uh, tip top shape. I've driven it a ton since I got it back, but uh, just to make sure everything's tip top shape, he wants to uh, have a couple really wide open floor, you know, floor uh, pedal to the metal uh, um, tunes on it. I'm not tunes. I'm sorry. Um, What's uh, scans on it? So he wants me to take some. Um, yeah, I just, I'll probably just end up doing whatever my passes are all started in the burnout box and then give them a, a solid uh, quarter, a few quarter mile passes on it and that'll get some good information for them. But uh, let's see, so far, this thing feels pretty darn good. Well, getting my wife's car washed. So, i.e. the scratchinator. Should be uh, pretty interesting. Good Lord the ultimate wash. Goodness shakes. Citrus wash. I can smell it. Goodness. Basically rolls itself right out and uh, throat in gear and that is that wow got some nice cars in here got a nice Camaro in here it's a uh, pretty nice now let's just see we'll see we'll see when we get home how beat up everything is now but uh, I was pretty impressed it's nice and fast brings you right through keeps the car nice and clean uh, we'll see hopefully let's see how clean the wheels are when we get back there's a nice Camaro back there See where it's going. It must be going out the back way here. And we're stuck it's watching a lot of traffic. All right. All right, YouTubers, here we go. We're back after the uh, auto wash. I got to say, man, I'm pretty darn impressed with uh, how it turned out, considering, you know, it's a silver car, so it hides the uh, scratches and stuff like that pretty well. But it did a really good job on the uh, wheels, all things considered. That's fresh brake dust on there. B just flew right by the screen. That's awesome. Spend 16 bucks, not too bad. I'm pretty happy with it. It's nice to get the car just a quick wash, keep it real nice and clean. They have like nice vacuuming uh, facility there and everything. So 
um, that's it for this uh, update. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow. We're definitely going to have uh, some uh, SS updates at the track. We'll get some uh, times at ACA. Hopefully, I'm not going to spend an arm and a leg there uh, to get one pass in. But if I do, so what? I'm shooting for mid-12s. Uh, that'll be more than a solid 50 horsepower to the wheel increase. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. Punch that um, subscribe button, like, comment. If you got any questions, you guys are always... Um, Never hesitate to reach out and ask me anything, but uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it, and take care.